Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share the difference between CPK and PPK. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Process capability is a measure of the ability of a process to meet. Customer specification. Process capability is defined as a statistical measure of the inherent process variability of a given characteristic. Process capability studies can indicate the degree to which the output meets customer's specifications. Be used for comparison with another process or competitor. Provide current level of process performance at measure phase. Provide the measure of gains after the improvements are in place at control phase. Before performing process capability study, verify the four assumptions. The first assumption is the process is statistically stable. To confirm process stability, validate through control charts such as XBAR R, XBAR S chart and others. The second assumption is that the individual measurement from the process conforms to the normal distribution. To confirm normality, validate through a normal probability plot. The third assumption is that the engineering specifications represent customer needs. To confirm engineering specification, validate through engineering drawings and customer contracts. The last assumption is measurement variation is relatively small. To confirm measurement variation, validate through MSA, Measurement System Analysis, study. There are two measures of process capability which are potential capability, represented by CP and CPK, and overall capability which is represented by PP and PPK. Potential capability only accounts for the variation within the subgroups while overall capability accounts for the overall variation of all measurements taken. The calculations for CP and PP are similar. The key difference between the two sets of indices lies in the estimates for within standard deviation and overall standard deviation. The CP-PP index compares the allowable spread, USL minus LSL, against the process spread, Six Sigma. It fails to take into account if the process is centered between the specification limits. The CPK-PPK evaluates process capability by comparing the process center to the closer specification limit. The CP value does not take into account the centering of the process mean. CPK will vary wildly as the process mean migrates away from the center of the tolerance. The further away from the process mean from the center of the tolerance, the lower of CPK. In this case, the CP is 1.15 but CPK is 0.75 due to the process mean being shifted to the upper spec limit. The graph at the left hand side is not a capable process while the graph at the right hand side is a capable process. What is the difference between CPK and PPK? CPK is known as short term capability while PPK is long term capability. CPK only accounts for the variation within the subgroups while PPK accounts for the overall variation of all measurements taken. Short-term capability consists of variation due to common cause while long-term capability consists of variation due to common and special cause. CPK does not account for the shift and drift between subgroups while PPK theoretically includes both the variation within subgroups and also the shift and drift between them. For short-term capability, data is collected across a narrow inference space while data from long-term capability is taken across a broad inference space. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.